Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. This is a Virgo channel only, so if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Hello everyone in the chat, and personal reading link is below the video. If you want to book a personal reading with me, I am available now to do readings. All right, Virgo, so happy birthday. And you know what? We're in the Mercury retrograde, so we're going to take a look and see what you need to know during this retrograde. What energies are playing out of here for you? And, uh, okay, already falling out here. The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, and the other woman. Okay. What's, I don't even know if I want to touch that. Okay. Let me see. Let's get more information. Okay, not enough. Frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy, Virgo. Okay, this is screaming to me that you're in a situation, somebody might have put you in a third party situation that you know about, okay? Or something might have happened in the past. Um, Virgo. Virgo, are you not feeling valuable to somebody because he did something like that or um, you're sensing that somebody might have done that and there's kind of like an awakening happening here you're taking a look at yourself and thinking that maybe you're feeling less than because somebody traded you in for a quote-unquote better model which is not true um <laughs> It's, it's not true. Okay, let me just take a look here. All right, addiction. Holy jeez. Okay, or they traded you in or someone's got an addiction of some sort that they're making a priority in their life. Now, some of you might have some codependency issues, obsession issues, or things that might be popping up here for you to take a look at within yourselves. Um... You might have a block. There might be some restraint. There's something, an awakening here. I feel like, Virgo, I'm going to just give this to you straight because I don't blow smoke on my channel, okay? You're going through a dark night of the soul. You have stuff that's going to be popping up during the retrograde where you're going to be looking at that dark shadow shish. You may be like, wow, seeing some things about yourself that are going to be tough okay some things that are going to be tough maybe you are suffering from some kind of an addiction maybe you're ad addicted to a person a place or a thing or an idea you may be not feeling like you're good enough lacking confidence um, maybe you were self-sabotaging a relationship and these I don't, I'm not seeing these as absolutes. Uh, maybe you had some jealousy issues or feeling like there's somebody else or feeling jealous, looking over your shoulder um, or in competition or feeling that way. So these might be things that have crept up on you, maybe in your life or with a particular person or dealing with someone that you allowed this person to possibly bring out the worst in you and then maybe that person is gone and now you're left with all this residual and it's like hold on a minute hang on this isn't right this is not so there's stuff popping up for you okay there's things popping up and guess what you might be asking yourself that question you know was I that person that I'm accusing that other person of, of being did I play a role in that did I play a part in that this the mercury retrograde is not just about electronics it's also about looking in the mirror as well but I want you to know that even if you are seeing some things about yourself that you're not liking make sure that you balance that out with things about yourself that are wonderful okay um, you could have gotten into something with someone that they triggered all the worst at they brought out the worst in you and some of you i feel like are looking at this and saying you know what that is what happened and this is not who i am and here you are overcoming obstacles 
overcoming these things, these all these negative things that either you let someone bring out the worst in you or it just happened. This retrograde is telling you to take a look at yourself and move away from this energy, get into a victory mindset, self-discipline, boundaries. I'm not going to, so it kind of feels like, you know, you're standing on the side of a road and somebody comes along and splashes you with paint and then you turn like completely green. You've got green paint all over you. And then that person's gone and now here you are walking around with this green paint. And I feel like some of you are like, you know what? I'm getting this shit off of me. I am not walking around with these projections or things that were put up, put upon me. I'm not owning them anymore. And that's kind of what I feel like your energy here is. Either somebody set you up in a position or tricked you with that snake energy to make you feel like you weren't good enough or that you were the other woman um, or to make you feel like you weren't good like I said not good enough or maybe gaslighting um, hijacked your mind hijacked your mind a lot of ways caused an addiction of some sort within you or a need to um, not let go of somebody. Look, here's death putting an end to this shoes. So we have cancer Scorpio energy here. Some, there might've been a block and I feel like these blocks are opening up for you. Some of you might've gotten into some kind of look three major arcana. Oh my God. This is speaking to me so loudly. Virgo judgment moving away from this energy, putting an end to this. This is not who I am getting back to self self-evaluation with judgment reconciling not with the words or the tapes that keep playing on your mind and saying and saying re and rebuking that devil energy and telling people places and things i'm living out of my core element of who i am and i know and learning relearning for some of you renewing yourself somebody might have been blaming you now it's time to start blaming them. I don't think blame is always the answer, but for some of you, it's time to say, hang on a minute. No, 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 no. Those things that you said about me, that way that you tried to make me feel, those things that you did, they were about you, not about me. Every time somebody points a finger, remember there's three fingers pointing back at them. Most times when people are blaming others, they're, it's usually about them. And so here you are, like getting real with yourself being patient with yourself, rebuilding, rebuilding, working on your strengths, putting that quality hard work into self, committing to yourself, dedicating to yourself and rebuking that snake energy. Somebody might've said you were too jealous. Maybe they said you were jealous, but they, maybe they were doing things that were causing you, you know, to just have to spy or they were they were like purposely lying and making you question question your judgment okay so a lot of you are waking up during this retrograde and saying wait no 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 i'm not taking the blame anymore <laughs> that codependent somebody maybe created a codependent situation um in a like kind of like oh well you know uh, oh i just heard um conditioning you to need them okay so virgo you have three major arcana so you are definitely getting out of this energy and getting back to self okay definitely during this retrograde some of you have already been doing it and for those of you who haven't started the work what's going to pop up here there's definitely an awakening happening might be around the 20th as well okay but there's something going on here where it's like, whoa, wait a minute. You're awakening to, you get some kind of like snap, like, like, you know, oh, wait, like snap, snap judgment, a snap happens. Something begins to make sense. You come out of this coffin energy. You've been like on the edge of just wanting to bury yourself because of what somebody else made you believe about yourself. I, I don't know if you were like, see, there's maliciousness with this snake. 
controlling behavior. Somebody may have been pushing their fear and their ego issues onto you and blaming you for why they feel that way when none of that was true. Okay, none of it was true. And I feel like you, if you're not already, it's time to start taking a look and saying, wait, like you got to get some, get getting real with yourself. Okay, page of wands. I see you getting real. I see you getting like a little pep in your step again and really taking a look at this energy. Like what the heck was this? This person was acting like they were doing more for me than I was doing for them, but that was all bullshit. I feel like you're really taking a look at this and, and saying to yourself, you know what, I was contributing and it was just never enough. This person might have said that you don't do enough for them. Or that you're not good enough. Who is this evil asshole? I wouldn't take this person back. Bloody stumps or not. No, no, no. Maybe they were born in the year of the snake. Okay. You've been making investments. Like you, Virgo, I feel like whoever you were connected with, you've been like putting your energy and effort into trying to make something work and hold the whole thing up. Maybe you did that in the past and it's like no more. This retrograde is, is going to be a reconciliation with self, a renewal of self. Who's coming back to you, Virgo? You. That's what I feel like is going on here. Look at this. Temperance. You have so many major arcana. It's beautiful. This is balance. Being patient with the self. Okay. Tranquility, harmonious relationship with self. That's what I feel like needs to be really addressed at this time. Who am I? Do I get along with myself? Do I like with myself? Do I know who I am? Why am I letting anyone tell me who I am? Why am I believing anyone telling me? Everybody has their own opinions and perspectives. The only opinion of, of who you are that matters is your own. I don't know, were you dealing with like a narcissist of some sort? Look at you looking at your self-worth and your value. I mean, Virgo, this is a prime opportunity during this time period for you to really do a lot of self-evaluation and reflection. Now, let me take a look at this, whoever this other person. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. It could be romantic. Um, we're just going to describe this other person and you'll know this person because this was someone this is not how you feel about yourself um initially this is someone telling you who you are and you not rejecting it in the past accepting it but let me take a look and tell you about this other person okay we got a love bomber here eight of oh yeah so this is somebody who very legalistic and rigid but was really chasing after you okay or this person was really on top of you like like ants on sugar i mean just really very active someone who was very active okay oh hmm. oh boy okay so this very contrasting energy the Hierophant, that makes you, this is someone who was chasing after you, either was wanting to be in a traditional relationship, a commitment, maybe they were very religious, and maybe there was like um, abuse of power that was going on there, somebody trying to really force something on you, or just, you know, making things exciting, maybe they said, you know, um, I, I feel like some religion might have had something to do with it, or... Um, uh, something about beliefs, social groups, moral beliefs. You know, guys, this this could be a political thing too. <laughs> you know, but at the same time, while doing all this, then the energy of this person is, you know, being burdened by you and um, having that victim mentality. All right, I don't know who you were involved with. 
some of you could have been a pastor or a priest an ideology um, a family member a friend i don't know who this person is but whatever they were telling you or trying to convince you or manipulate you malicious behavior into believing about yourself it was all a form to get you to i feel like satisfy their needs right this retrograde is in is the retrograde i think it's in virgo isn't it I think the Mercury retrograde is in Virgo. So for you guys, there's a heavy duty self-analysis going on here. Whatever this person was trying to do or tell you about yourself, that was all their insecurities, pushing that energy onto you. They, This person was trying to mold you into something that would fit either a narrative for them or whatever would f would fit them okay not had nothing to do with who you were lack of appreciation making you feel like you weren't good enough so here you are in this energy right look at you you have the wheel of fortune you're making change luck is on your side you're coming out of this this retrograde is going to be more of um not feeling guilty for someone not feeling bad about walking away or saying no this is like recognizing yourself and saying i deserve better all right here's the lovers okay commitment to self commitment to love this is equality in a partnership this is transparency this is two people making a decision a choice in love because when two people make a decision look at how the reason that they're naked is not just for um physical intimacy but it's also for, about transparency and acceptance this is unconditional love this is you virgo saying i'm worthy i am good enough i am not a, not jealous i am not the other woman or the other guy i am not addicted i am not obsessed i am not a controlling person okay um I do not have any blocks. This is kind of like rebuking the gaslighting as well. And, you know, standing up for yourself and saying, you may have that opinion of me, but that's yours. And it doesn't have any effect on me. I am who I am and I like myself. And whatever you think of me, you can just go lick your asshole. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where that came from. But it's just kind of like you're like, letting it roll off your shoulders well that's your opinion you can keep it to yourself i don't really care you think what you want to think but who are you to tell me who i am who are you to define me who are you are you god because this person maybe they think oh oh yeah they're the father of lies or the mother of lies this is someone who's got that they're all up in this devil energy and this is what you need to see about this person what does that devil energy represent as always that you know what god does not cause confusion that's the devil's job if you're confused that's the work of the devil not god okay because he will never lie he will never confuse you spirit god whatever you want to call it the universe does not conspire to destroy you this devil represents addictions it represents depression mental health issues secrecy obsession it represents dependency bondage materialism sexuality powerlessness hopelessness abuse violence and assault and there's one other thing here that i can't read it Oh, and cheating. Okay. Lies. All lies. And you're, the, the retrograde is going to bring you into this holy, wait a minute, hold up a minute, taking that mask off, seeing what's underneath of yourself and saying, man, somebody was just throwing poison darts at me and they were getting into my system and, and that's, that was a, a form of control to control you, to keep you suppressed, to keep you wanting and needing this person because they were love darts of poison. 
So this, this is a heavy duty reading. This is not your everyday simple, you know, what you're going to be doing Thursday evening. <laughs> this is like heavy duty retrograde stuff. So there are some big shifts. There's some big awakenings happening here for you. There's a, a, an awakening, a, 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 a revelation happening here for you within self about who you are and who you need to honor first and foremost. And that's self, okay? And you might not have been doing that or, or not believing that, that you were supposed to. But there was always this little voice, right? I know you know it, a tiny little voice always speaking to you barely audible but it kept saying to you no 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 stop don't do this don't do this stay away from that people places or things don't do this that little teeny tiny voice but that that devil voice was a lot stronger and it was tempting it, it was like coming up with lollipops and cake and saying it's all right it's sweet it's okay you can have this sweetness this is like selling the soul to the devil kind of energy for a quick payout. <laughs> but no, those promises are never kept with that devil, ever. The point is to destroy, to make you addicted, to cause you to hand yourself over. That's the tricky thing about the devil because the devil will never, there's an old saying from a movie, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing you that he didn't exist. He blame it on you and say, you're the one causing all this, the father of lies. And the devil doesn't come right up to you. And we're speaking, I'm not speaking in religious terms. I'm speaking in energetic terms the, the the devil doesn't come up to you and say, Hey, I'm going to hijack your mind. The devil's going to convince you to hand your mind over to him. He's very convincing. And somehow it's malicious energy. It's enemy energy with that snake, right? I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to speak in religious terms. When Jesus met the devil in the garden, um, the devil sent a snake and, D and Jesus stomped on the snake and was like, I know what you are. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It, it's a powerful scene in a movie called the passion of the christ and i just love that movie and i'm not saying that i'm not trying to preach here or anything it's just my all-time favorite well one of my favorite movies um one of my biggest favorite movies before greece <laughs> but it's just that scene you know and and that's what you need to look at like if you get a chance you could just google that you could just look up that scene where he's in the garden and the devil comes to take his soul and it's so powerful and I feel like this is very deep and and this is not for all of you but some of you you got to be aware of that energy that is all over it's all over and that's the most malicious sneaky snake-like energy when someone has the ability to convince you to hand your soul over to them this is even a kidnapping this devil can never be accused of kidnapping because he convinced you to to do it so this is in to the an outsider looks like you gave into it but that's not what happened at all you were tricked okay so let's see what your messages are here now other messages for you trust is safe to trust in this and what i'm telling you it's safe to trust in the situation and that what this is and and i'm not listen i'm not speaking to those of you who are now going to just have this planted in your head and then automatic like i'm speaking right now those of you who are nodding your head like like amen amen like you're nodding your head preach that's you're the one i'm talking to i'm not talking to those of you who are like oh, i'm not sure you're still unsure and you got to go figure this out but there's some of you who are like nope i know exactly what you're talking about and this message is for you and you need to talk to those other people who are trapped in this this web this web this reading oh my god okay friendship okay friendship is leading to more who is this you have a friendship with there's a, someone around you who um is a true blue friend in your life 
This is someone who knows. This is a friend who's been telling you. For those of you who haven't quite graduated from this yet, this is someone who's been telling you about somebody for quite some time. And your response for some of you has been, no, 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 it's not like that. And the reason you're saying it's not like that is because you're already stuck in the web because you've been convicted of these lies like you you're already believing it but there's someone there's a close friend someone who's on the outside and they're like no I'm telling you I'm watching you this spider is trying to weave its web around you and make a cocoon and I'm trying I'm here trying to save you you've got a friend here that really cares about you there you go protected you are safe and divinely guided so this someone here who is trying to protect you they're not they're, this person is not jealous. They have no intention um, to sabotage for their own good. This friend is like really speaking the truth. And you might want to reach out to them and kind of say, you know, that thing you were saying to me the other day, can you tell me a little bit more? Try to gather some information and ask them, what were you talking about? Like, what were you seeing? Yeah. Okay. And I'm not saying that, like, I mean... It's a very general message here that I'm giving, but this is very specific for some of you who know. If somebody's been telling you about an, a, a current romantic partner, or they've been telling you about an ex, or they've been telling you about a family member, or a boss, or someone at work, or something along those lines, and you've been doubting yourself, but not because that's your natural way, Virgo, because you're very intuitive. Someone's been tricking you. So, I mean, what do you got to do? You got to like sage this person, <laughs> sage them, or you got to get yourself away. You have to flee. You got to get away. Okay. Um, you got to get away from, or remove yourself or somehow keep some very, very heavy distance from this person as you heal. Cause you have, you, this is life or death. You have to heal and get back to who you are spiritual lesson okay someone here is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson and it's not that person if it is this then they work from from the devil the devil has his own spiritual principles that that don't that energy is completely separate okay yeah there's like okay so whoever this person is they worked on the chemistry okay this person worked on the chemistry aspect and what does that mean that means that this person how can I say it? They know what chemicals go with what chemicals. This person found a way to like up your serotonin or your dopamine. Uh, a trick, I'm telling you. They gave you a lot of cake. It's kind of, I hate to say it, but it's how, how those predators lure children in. They use cute little puppies or they use, you know, um, they use devilish, devilish tricks, cake, candies, sweets. That's chemistry. That's a chemical. That's like, um, that's someone that creates an addiction. You know, that's those chemicals. And that's what that chemistry is. Like somebody created something that, see this, this is not normal. Okay. Chemistry is generally a good thing, <laughs> but this, no, there is bad intentions behind it with this person. And so I feel like for you, Virgo, you're kind of like, you're going to be seeing the light of things in during this retrograde. I'm telling you, just a little bit of light. Look, you have queen, love and prosperity. Hmm. Okay. You know, it's so funny. Um, my community section. So I guess back in April or March, April or May, I predicted that the queen was going to be passing away in like the end of August, September. I forgot all about that reading and... I haven't been able to find it anywhere. Um, but somebody, a couple of people in the community section said, Hey, remember you made that prediction? I forgot. So I'm going to propose something to you. If anyone is able to find the first one that is able to find that video and leave a comment under the section where I gave a shout out to Queen Elizabeth, I did the rest in peace. I will give you a free reading. Okay, so if you want to go, you really want a free reading, go back and find that video. Um, the title, put the link in the community section under that, that video, or under that, um, that Queen post, Queen Elizabeth post. 
And the first one to do that in the comment section, I will give you a free phone reading. Okay, because I'm like, gotta find out. Anyway, queen is here. So this is who you are. Okay, and also understand too that you may have someone who is very jealous of you. Okay, your queen-like heirs, very jealous and did try to take you down or try to destroy you. But you know what? If anybody's trying to destroy you, that just means that you're so high up on the level, you vibrate so high that any people, it's a rare delicacy is what I'm hearing about you. There's something very queen-like about you and people are either going to honor and respect that or they're going to destroy it. And you have people who honor and respect who you are, but you've got some or one here who no mm -mm. they want to take it tear you down so that they feel better about themselves okay the griffin honor and good luck see you're gonna rise above you will because you're gonna have that light bulb you're gonna wake up i see it here serendipity bright new prospects are on the horizon you're gonna get out of this back to self and it's really gonna feel good when you realize hey this wasn't me this was not me this was this other person and projecting onto me and you're a good person Virgo so you were just trying to be that good person but you now you had some kind of evil spirit I don't know if you have to wear like an evil eye on you or do some sage or protective crystals um, get away from this energy rebuke this person place or thing or whatever this idea is get out of it and f get your own opinions back Okay, well, romantic feelings, but it was in the reverse. So false feelings, if this was a lover or just someone, okay? This is a difficult read. I really like to bring rainbows and Skittles if I can, but this read was very specific during this retrograde for someone here that truly needs to see the fucking light. I'm like, I'm feeling, hey, McFly, knocking on the head, wake the hell up what you were dealing with here or currently are or what's going on like you got to get out of this energy as soon as possible because this is going to take you down this this will take this is how that devil energy collects their their minions by people who don't wake up they don't the devil as soon as you wake up and you stand and you call that devil out that devil energy or that people place or thing out watch what that person or that thing does that real a real devil energy is going to flee they're going to run because that's what the devil does once you know the truth once you know the truth about them they can't mess with you anymore they can't because you can't you can't fight with the truth that sword of truth mm -mm. once you get that sword out and you know you call somebody out on it or you tell them i know what you're doing and i'm not standing for it anymore if they run there you go if they don't run, then that's probably not someone with that bad energy. <laughs> that's, you know, they're trying to dupe you. I don't even care if they're insecure and they can't face themselves. It's not your problem. You have to protect self. You have to take care of self. You can't let anyone hijack your mind, hijack, well, they can't hijack your soul because that's your soul, but try to hijack your man, mind. You can't do that. You can't let that happen. That's worse. And someone physically hijacking you once you're once somebody somebody has your mind it's all it's so hard to get out of it and if that's the situation with you like you have to start replacing those tapes and putting in the truth of who you are okay that was one hell of a deep intense mercury retrograde reading and i feel like it might be more of a warning than anything but during this this period take that break separate pull away and start looking at things because the longer you're, you're away what happens is um things start to calm down and you can begin to think clearly and then you start things start coming back to you see how it just got a little ding ding there that's a huge sign once you have you step away everything that's been suppressed like the true self will start coming up again you know the true self has been suppressed by people, places, and things. Once you have your time away, you take that time away, those light bulbs, and you start having those aha moments. And then it's like, oh, 
oh, and then you start remembering, oh, that's why this person did this or said that. Like you've, that's how you heal. You heal by stepping back and stepping away. That's the first step. You can't, I mean, can you heal in the middle of a war zone? I mean, I guess it's possible, but the probability of that happening is very slim. If you're able to, if you can't physically distance yourself, mentally distance yourself. Yeah, this is tough. I don't, I, I'm not a fan of these readings because they get very intense, but I feel like somebody here needs to hear this during the retrograde. So take that time. I don't know if you need to give it to Jesus or you need to like go sit in a chapel or a church and get all them blessings as much as you can or be around people who are got, you know, your good intentions for you, like this good friend here. I don't know. Go take a bath in holy water. I don't know what the heck you need to do, but you have to do something before this will just completely change your brain waves. It would completely change your brain waves. All right, I'm going to leave that there. I love you guys. Happy birthday. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>